Hi there friends, my name is Melinda from Connecting with Littles and today I want to show you some simple ham games I play with my children. These are some simple games that are equipment free, just with your hands, wherever you are. If you're waiting for an appointment, if your children are bored, if they're grumpy and you're just looking for a little way to build some extra connection, then maybe these ideas would be for you. Most of these are fairly simple. I will link in the description box below some other more complicated hand clapping games or some examples of some of these in case you're interested in exploring further with your children. Mine are still fairly young, seven and under, so we haven't done that many yet. Um, I'll show you a few different ones and I keep learning new ones with my children and keep doing more. So I hope that you will enjoy them. And then let me know in the comments below if what other ones am I missing? What other ones should I be teaching my children and playing with my children? The first game is writing letters on your child's back or hand. You can do it with your finger. I'm doing it here with my daughter. For this one, you do need children who know their letters already, so maybe slightly older and see if they can guess. It makes them think about what they're feeling and being conscious of the shapes being drawn <laughs> on their back, the letters. You can do it on their hand too and you can also have them do it back to you if they know their letters. It can be a fun way for both of you to get letter practice and some fun time playing together. The next game, or the next games I want to talk about are classic hand clapping games. There's so many rhythms you can learn. I like this one about clapping and then double, double high five, let's say it that way. And then my daughter was fairly young at this time and she often mixed up, but double and then right hands together and then clap and then left hands together and then clap and then double again. There's that one. And there are many others. You will find links below to several of them. You can learn several different ones. I remember doing this in school and it was a lot of fun. And it's fun for my girls now too, though I still have to do fairly simple patterns with them. As they are younger yet. But they learn. And yeah, in school we get these some of these rhythms going in a whole big circle of girls, I remember. I don't even remember the exact one we used because it included more steps but I'm trying to find some new ones and learn some new ones. This one is a new one that we recently learned called Double Double This That. There's more explanations for it below in a link in the description, but it's been fun to learn another new one. Another game that is really fun and especially f even for very young children as young as two can do this one easily. My two-year-old daughter and I often did it it's whoever's hand is on the bottom has to pull their hand out and stack it up. The thing is, it's surprising how complicated it is for their little brains to learn that. And they quickly get good at it, but it's easy for them to pull out their hand somewhere in the middle. You can also do it with several people, as many as you want about, and make the stack. That makes it even more brain work for your children. Whoever's at the bottom always pulls out their hand and it's easy for someone in the middle to pull out their hand without realizing, like you see here. <laughs> but then you just correct it and keep going. It's good eye-hand coordination. Another one we recently started doing is called Thumb War. I think uh, from what I was seeing online it is a pretty big thing, but just fighting with your thumbs and trying to pin your opponent's thumb down. <laughs> Pass the clap is one that's also we've started to play sometimes. It's where each person has the right hand on top of the other, next person's left hand and or vice versa if you want. And then you pass the clap around. It's been hard for my girls to figure it out for the younger ones especially. But they were learning it pretty good. And it was lots of fun.
you can do it faster and faster too. Another common one that many people play is rock, paper, scissors. For me, it's one I don't really care for. <laughs> it's a groaner. <laughs> but some friends taught my girls it and they enjoy it with each other. And I know I would have enjoyed it when I was younger. So the whole thing is you chant rock, paper, scissors, one, two, three. The rock is a fist. The flat palm is a paper. And two fingers is a scissors. And the scissors always wins the paper. The paper wins the rock. And the rock wins the scissors. So you see who gets the most points just by pulling out and seeing which one wins. Another thing to do that isn't exactly a hand game but so much fun is to learn sign language with your children. They've learned please water. They've learned to say thank you. Sometimes we do it just for fun. It's a way of consciously thinking about what you're doing. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed these games. I hope you will enjoy playing them with your children. Let me know again if there's any I'm missing. And there's probably variations to all of them. So if you know them slightly different, then let me know too. Maybe I can learn something that I'm missing out on. And I hope you have a wonderful time building connection with your little ones. See you next time in another video. Bye.